This video is brought to you by CAPE, the one source app to the world of mixed martial arts. Follow the link below to sign up for updates and a chance to win a walk-on role in the next installment of the Kickboxer movie franchise. For combat sports, these are the fights that influenced pop culture. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 super fights in history. You ready? You ready? Get it off! The bell in round number one! Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're focusing on fights between established athletes that delivered from the moment they were announced to the final decision. And still, the undisputed U.S. Walter White Champion of the World! Number 10, Arturo Gatti versus Mickey Ward. Everybody expected a good fight tonight. If you've seen The Fighter, you know that Mickey Ward has tons of heart. But what the film doesn't show you is the May 2002 match against Arturo Gatti. This was indeed a super fight, if only because the boxing world expected one of the most entertaining bouts of the year. For the first six rounds, they did not mess around, but the fight became something much more profound by the legendary ninth round, which is arguably the best three minutes of boxing history, and certainly of the early 21st century. This should be the round of the century! Each boxer showcased his extraordinary skill, along with something that can't be taught, heart inside the ring. Certainly they weren't the ultra-skilled stars who uh, go on to the greatest success in the sport, but they were both entertaining fighters who were known to give the crowds uh, their money's worth. Number 9, Sugar Ray Leonard versus Thomas Hearns. Two great fighters, great skills, should be a great fight. Coming less than a year after his infamous no mass bout with Roberto Duran, Sugar Ray Leonard threw down for another iconic fight. For this unforgettable Las Vegas showdown, both fighters entered the ring with separate welterweight belts, but it was only Thomas Hearns that had never been beaten at 32 and 0, and with 30 knockouts. Best punch of the fight for Thomas Hearns. That most lethal weapon is Big Right. This bout was scheduled for 15 rounds, and by the 6th and 7th, it seemed like Sugar Ray had the upper hand. But the WBA champ Hearns came back with a fury, leading to an explosive conclusion and a unification of the welterweight championships. A 14th round knockout victory for Sugar Ray Leonard. Number 8, Ronda Rousey versus Holly Holm. Here we go! At UFC 193, there was a clear favorite and also a major underdog. Ronda Rousey was 12-0 and famous for her first round knockouts. But Holly Holm was known for her extraordinary boxing skills, and it didn't take long for her to pepper the champ with jabs. In round two, Holm rocked the entire UFC by picking apart the sport's biggest superstar and finishing the job with a vicious kick to the neck. This bout wasn't necessarily billed as a super fight initially, but the shocking result essentially marked the beginning of the end for Ronda Rousey. Furthermore, it brought even more exposure to the massively growing UFC. Just an absolutely staggering performance by the challenger. Number 7, Julio Cesar Chavez versus Meldrick Taylor. Promoted as Thunder Meets Lightning, this bout featured a Mexican icon and an American star in the making. Both fighters were undefeated, but the 27-year-old Julio Cesar Chavez had the longest undefeated streak in about 80 years at 68-0, with 55 knockouts. Despite the odds, Taylor steamrolled Chavez for the majority of the fight, but didn't seal the deal. As a result, Chavez's experience and stamina came into play, and he countered. That is a tired Meldrick Taylor slipping to the canvas. By the 12th and final round, Taylor was on the verge of a major upset. Unbelievably, Chavez destroyed the dream. Or, as some have argued, it was referee Richard Steele who altered the course of boxing history. Unbelievable! Richard Steele stopped the fight with fewer than five seconds to go! Number 6, BJ Penn versus Georges St. Pierre. You ready? Let's do it! The first round of our main event of the night. Almost three years after their first memorable matchup at UFC 58, these two fighters squared off as champions of separate divisions, a UFC first. Georges St. Pierre was trending upwards with his welterweight dominance. Meanwhile, BJ Penn was hoping to redefine his career as the lightweight champ. 
The fight was notable for the massive hype, but it ultimately showcased GSP's overwhelming ground and pound assault, a technique that would lead to a round four stoppage. What? Camp later claimed that GSP had been greased with jelly in between rounds, which prompted a comedic admission from UFC's undisputed champ. If you look at the fight closely in BJ Penn entry to the octagon, when he's walking to the octagon, you can see how I cheat. I hire a man to kiss BJ Penn on the mouth on his way to the octagon. Number five, Marvin Hagler versus Thomas Hearns. And here we go. Known as The War, this all-time classic featured two pound-for-pound -pound icons. Marvin Hagler entered the ring as the undisputed middleweight champ, and he quickly established dominance over his younger opponent in round one, only to lose the momentum seconds later. Hurt hits him with an uppercut. Hagler, he's hurt, hurt. With the fast pace and effective blows, this super fight became an instant classic early on. Unsurprisingly, it was over by round three, as Hagler's relentless assault was too much for Thomas the Hitman Hearns. In just eight minutes, both fighters produced what is widely considered to be one of the best round-for-round -round fights of all time. He can't continue! It's Hagler full of blood! Number four, Manny Pacquiao versus Floyd Mayweather Jr. Crowd is ready. A big roar greets the opening bell. For years, this was the boxing matchup that purists and casual fans alike wanted to see. By 2015, both Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather Jr. were arguably past their prime, yet the so-called fight of the century was indeed that, an undeniable superfight. It was a massive pop culture event that seemed worth the cost. But whereas Pacquiao was a knockout artist, Mayweather was the traditional defensive fighter. Now he's got Mayweather in the corner. And Mayweather grabs him. Over 12 rounds, the Pac-Man struggled to connect, and he re-aggravated a shoulder injury in round four, leading to a unanimous decision for Money Mayweather to compliment his big check. And still undefeated, Floyd Money Mayweather. Number three, Floyd Mayweather Jr. versus Conor McGregor. It's time. For Mayweather versus McGregor. Known as the money fight, this bout initially seemed entirely one sided, even after the results of UFC 205. Octagon champ Conor McGregor made his boxing debut, while boxing legend Floyd Mayweather Jr. hoped to cap off his career with a record breaking 50 0 mark. But while fans and analysts expected big hype, which was absolutely delivered, what they didn't expect was a dramatic 10-round fight. From round one onwards, McGregor showed his skill and incredible toughness, while Mayweather demonstrated why he is one of the all-time best. In the end, both fighters made huge money and bolstered their reputations in their respective sports. And still undefeated, Floyd Money! Number two, Mike Tyson versus Evander Holyfield. Introducing the one and only Iron Mike Tyson. By the mid 90s, Tyson, the baddest man on the planet, had reached the pinnacle of boxing, but had also served three years in prison. Meanwhile, former champion Evander Holyfield hoped to regain his boxing mojo. For this super fight, legacies were on the line, along with boxing careers in general. Tyson was the overwhelming favorite, and many expected a violent conclusion. Yet Holyfield gave it his all over 10 rounds, making the fight an instant classic. Oh, Tyson's in trouble! Holyfield smothers Tyson! Looking to put Tyson down and end the fight! Then came round 11, in which the real deal lived up to his nickname and reignited his already iconic career. I can't believe what I'm saying. It's the most unbelievable thing I've ever been privileged to witness. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Anderson Silva saying he tapped. Did he tap or did he not tap? It's a brown number one. Oh, big right hand! Congratulations by Liddell oh, and a high kick. kick. Number one, 
Muhammad Ali versus Joe Frazier. Hundreds of millions are seeing this bout around the world, a packed house at Madison Square Garden. This is the super fight to end all super fights. Not only did the fight of the century feature two legends in their prime, it also connected the world like never before. This was the first time two undefeated boxers threw down for the heavyweight title. At 31-0, Muhammad Ali was arguably the most famous athlete in the world. But Smokin' Joe Frazier was the one man that could silence his trash talk. And he did. Fifteen brutal rounds later, Frazier received the unanimous decision. Ali won the rematch, however, and famously competed in another classic against George Foreman, the Rumble in the Jungle. This video is brought to you by Cape, the one source app to the world of mixed martial arts, where you'll find unlimited news and information on your favorite fighters and organizations. You can even watch classic martial arts and action movies. Follow the link below to sign up for updates and a chance to win a walk-on role in the next installment of the Kickboxer movie franchise.